Another embattled mayor in San Diego would certainly love to have some publicity like that. 16 women have now come forward accusing Bob Filner of sexual harassment. The latest, a 67-year-old great-grandmother. As Eric Sorensen reports, as the list of women grows, so too does the pressure on Filner to resign. Peggy Shannon is a great-grandmother. The latest evidence that the sexual advances of her boss at City Hall, the San Diego mayor, know no bounds. On the day that Mayor Filner grabbed me and kissed me, I was so surprised. I went home and cried. It sounds it unbelievable, so except bad. Shannon's only the latest to accuse Mayor Bob Filner of sexual harassment. I was placed in the Filner headlock. More than a dozen women have come forward this summer. Former aides, businesswomen, a former rear admiral. And he ran his finger up my cheek like this. Filner is resisting calls to resign, but did agree to rehab. I will be entering a behavior counseling clinic to undergo two weeks of intensive therapy to begin the process of addressing my behavior. Filner's sex exploits have overshadowed those links to explicit pictures of New York's mayoral candidate, Anthony Weiner, that he himself tweeted to women. You guys from New York, look, you got Weiner, we got Filner. Filner is the wiener of the West Coast. Now, Filner has been zinged mercilessly this summer. The details are a little disturbing, so if you have children in the room, they're about to grow up real quick. And if you've seen the new Robin Thicke music video, a San Diego news outlet has produced a mock-up for Filner. The videos themselves are arguably sexist, but then there's no shortage of irony in this story. San Diego Hooters restaurants are now refusing to serve Filner. Apparently, Hooters is shocked at the exploitation of women. Meantime, the serious business of removing Filner from office is picking up steam. The mayor is trying to ride out the storm, but the accusations are almost as persistent as his alleged groping. He would come in and try and kiss me on the lips. I was blown away. And Peggy Shannon, the dispirited 67-year-old, says the mayor suggested he could go for eight hours. She says he should just go. Eric Sorensen, Global News, Washington.